Alright, this is Adrian Boisel, and today I want to show you the proper way to use the pen tool. So if you've never used the pen tool before, maybe you have, but you're not all that familiar with it, uh, this is going to be a huge help to you. This can also be good if you have an existing Illustrator file or an SVG that you want to edit. And understanding how the anchor points and the anchor arms and all these different pieces work is very important to be able to edit and adjust and make it your own uh, if you're starting with something as a base. So let's just start with a base of a simple object. If we're gonna start with a, let's just do a polygon. This is a good shape. So if I actually hold down shift, you can see it'll maintain its aspect ratio. It'll stay the proper size. If I let that go, then it's gonna allow me here. Yeah, it's gonna and it's gonna keep my direction tight. If I let it go, it's gonna allow me to spin it and move it any direction I want. But if I do it this way, you can see it maintains that ratio. If I want to make it wider or narrower, I can do that. Just grab it right there. But we're gonna specifically show you how the pen tool works. So going over to the pen tool, this right here, and let's just zoom in, is an anchor point. Now, as you can see, I have pre-selected the negative tool. If I were to click this, this is actually going to remove that anchor point. That is not what I want. I don't even have a specific plan of what I'm gonna design here today, but I wanna show you the specifics of how this tool works. So if you click and hold down here on the pen tool, it's gonna to give you a few different options. You have the minus and the plus and the shift plus C, plus shift command C. That's gonna give you the anchor point control tool, which I really like and I use really often. So that's going to be kind of one of the keys to learning how to use this is actually understanding how to control the arms of the direction. So let me just start off with using the basic pen tool. So with the basic pen tool is if I hold down shift, you can see how it's negative there. If I hold down shift because this path already exists, this is going to let me draw out some arms. Okay, then I can actually go in here and add more. I can click and hold and drag. It gives me a lot of control as I'm clicking, I'm holding and I'm dragging. These are those anchor point arms that allows you to control the curve. It's really neat. So if I'm gonna do something like, let's just say I'm making a special special design. Uh, I wanna do something cool here. So let's just do this. We'll put this, line this right up with that, right there. And then what I can do is I can actually go down to this anchor point arm and actually hold down Alt. And you can see my little icon changes there. I can actually click and drag that icon right here. And then when I go to fill it in. So what I've done here now is I've actually added a new layer. This I added this on top, but I was marking it right at that point. Now let's go back. Let me show you one more thing. So if I want to control and edit this existing anchor point, the pen tool can be handy for eliminating them or let's see here, where's the other one? Or or adding them. So this is actually the same thing. Now I can click and hold alt and click and drag this as well. So now it changes the shape of the design. So if you can see here, this little V tool is that anchor point arm. So this is gonna give you control and flexibility over the shape of your design. I don't usually use polygons like this uh, very often, but this kind of gives you an idea of the control. And I could totally do the same thing over here. I can drag it that way. I can hold on shift to maintain that same ratio. The next thing you know, I've created, I'm actually seeing a vision here. I'm going to show you. This is going to be kind of cool. So as you can see us designing this, uh, we're going to do with the anchor tool or the pen tool, we're going to do a drop down and we're going to hit the add an anchor point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to here and you can see a dead center. I have my smart guides on. And if you don't know what smart guides are, then you need to go to view. You scroll down here and you'll see guides and you'll see smart guides. Make sure that those are checked on. That's going to be a big help for you. Save you a lot of time. You kind of got to have it. And then you can have hide your guides which we don't want you're rarely going to need to use that i can show you how the shortcut is it's command and semicolon you can see right here command semicolon or control semicolon and then locking the guides which can be a total pain i don't like them i usually unlock guides if they're there is another great part but these guides are going to help you out a lot so we go back here we look at this is the middle i'm going to add this anchor point now what my vision is as soon as i saw this shape first thing I thought of was we're doing a tutorial on pens. So what I can do is make this very simple. I'm actually going to add another anchor point. We're going to say right here and we're going to say probably evenly, probably right here. It's about right. Now I'm actually going to leave these two. You can see here now I selected this other, uh, the direct selection tool. 
And now I can click on this one. And I can hold Command or Control. Wait, is it this one? There we go. And I can actually hit Shift and click the other two. Now, if I just keep holding Shift down and I go with an arrow, you can see, once I get to a certain point, I've now just kind of created my own pin. You can see, and I can even throw a circle in there, similar to like you see on the pen tool design, where I could do this and draw a new circle. And now if I view it, so let's just fill it in. Let's just do this. Let's fill that in. You can go down here to the stroke and you can remove it. There you go. And then you can see I have the circle here. That's a white circle with a black stroke. I'm actually going to get rid of the black stroke. And now if this looks a little funky, I mean, this is just my own unique design, but if this looks a little funky and you want to do it differently, then you're going to go back to the pen tool. You can add an anchor point like this. You'll see here, if you hit command Y, you'll see all your lines and you'll see your anchor point, command or control Y, and you want to match it up on the other side. So now you have this one on this side and that one on the other side. What I would do is I would grab this with the with the direct selection tool. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this. Oh, and I see something going on. So one of the things is if you have a selection on called snap to, there's snap to pixel, there's snap to, to path, you want to turn that off. That can cause some issues. So snap to pixel if you're trying to do something really custom. So here we go. I'm going to go straight up. I'm going to put that guy right there. I'm holding down shift this entire time, by the way. Same thing on the other side, I have this path. I'm gonna hold down shift, and I'm gonna drag, whoops, let's see here, I'm gonna click it, and I'm gonna hold down shift, and I'm gonna drag this thing. Oh, what is going on? It looks like it didn't work. Okay, so now it's working. So I'm gonna put that thing, put that anchor there, click this one, do the same thing, put this anchor here. Come on, there we go. And now you can see, this is gonna be a little cleaner I can move this up if I want to, or I can move it down so it actually opens it up. You can see here, that looks like a pretty cool angled pen tool. Uh, Instagraphics is actually, the logo is a pen tool, but this is an eye. So it's pretty funny how this came out, but that's a really good way to use the pen tool. Um, there are some really great tools, like I said, the removing an anchor point. If you need to remove something, you can, uh, and that's all you got for today. So